Good morning, all of you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, ma'am. How are you, all of you? Fine, and you, ma'am? I'm also fine. fine. Okay. Last time we discussed the topic of which one topic? Character quality. Character quality. So, and I gave homework about the importance of character, good character in our life, isn't it? Okay. At first, tell me. Okay, Raj. Why good character is important in our life? Good character is important in our life because if we have good character, mm -hmm. we will be identified in our society. We will mm -hmm. be respectful. Mm -hmm. The next, we will be liked by everyone. We are liked by everyone. Yes, we are respected in the society. We are known by every people, isn't it? Character means our identity. What type of, uh, how you show your behavior, what do you speak, what do you think? That is all the things. Yes, that is judged by the society, and that is character. And you can say that is your identity. So, character you can talk character as your identity because of your character. People know you. You are a good person, bad person. What type of you? People will know about it because of your character yes and last time also i told that every people has got positive and negative character isn't it okay rahul tell me about your personality rahul yes ma'am okay tell me about your character your personality about my character ma'am yes yes positive and negative both yes i told we have got positive and negative character so you can talk about both your positive as well as negative character okay, my uh, my negative characters are my negative characters are uh, fighting shouting in loud voice etc then you haven't got positive character then no ma'am i have got <laughs> then tell me about that also not saying uh, rough words and mm. not cheating in exam okay good Okay, Dikcha. Once you try, what type of character you have got? Yes, ma'am. Okay, what type of character you have got? My character is not not so positive, not so negative. Yeah, that every people has got positive and negative character. You can talk about both one positive also negative also. But whenever you talk about the things, at first talk about the positive things. Okay, that is a negative one. Okay, first uh. Positive one. Then I am confused. What type of character you are? You are shy person. You are confident. What? Mm. Just now, okay. Just now, Rahul told you just like that. Mm. My positive characters are. I am not overconfident. Hmm. Yes. Good. And another is. The I next. Don't Your negative character is you are not confident. Yes. And sometimes you feel very shy to speak also. Yes, but your good character is you are so disciplined. You always do your homework, classwork, you obey your teacher. That is your good character. Yes, ma'am. Likewise, you have to define good and bad character. Okay, was well, I've seen Sadish here. Okay, Sadish, tell me about your character. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Okay, tell me about your character. Positive and negative, both character. Okay. I have to solve my character by myself. Yeah, your character you have to define by yourself. Mm, positive, not okay, cheating. Okay, at first positive. Exam. Yes, not cheating exam. Then, mm. then. Not speaking the rough words. Not speaking the rough words. Doing the, the homework always. Doing homework always. Hmm. Mm. Yes, I can. Then negative character. Do you want to have? Fighting sometimes. And what, again, again. Fighting sometimes. Oh yeah, fighting sometimes. Stopping friends while playing sometimes. Okay, this also correct. That much. Next, who will speak now? Okay, was Eric. Where are you going, Eric? Now, Eric is there. Okay, next, uh, I was Podel. I was Podel. Yes, ma'am. Tell me, okay, tell me about the character, your personality. My personality is is um, positive towards uh, uh, small children. Mm -hmm. I. I respect um, elders. Yes. I love the um, I love the um, children who are smaller than me. 
and some of my negative characters are that I make noise in class. Okay, yes. That means you are very good to, towards the the elder, not elder one, your you junior one. Yes, you love them and you respect the elder one. That is your positive character. So this is good thing. So character, character is a thing which is judged by the people. That means our by our society. And next thing is that character is our identity. You are judged by the. your character if you are good and all people like you they praise you you become famous yes whatever you have done that is your quality your character rather than your physical appearance either you are tall or you are very handsome but people not notice that one people notice about your character even being you are handsome if you have one got a good character then obviously people will do backbiting do you know is yes, backbiting means back by people will back by so the thing the most important thing of our life is a character so we should have a positive character but we know that all the people have positive as well as negative character we have to work on our on our negative character so this much about the character quality now today our topic is uh, you can say idioms our topic is idioms Now, at first, whenever I say idioms, now what do you mean by idioms? Okay, one smarika. You have studied idioms in class uh, six also, five also. Now, what do you mean by idioms? Um, like a puzzle. Like a phrase. Yes, mm-hmm. you can say uh, like what is phrases. ukan? Yeah, phrases ukan. Yes, that is the idioms. And mm-hmm. our this today's discussion topic is about the mm-hmm. idioms. Mm-hmm. Okay, once we are. Okay, idioms. Today is our top case. Idioms. At first, what what is idiom? Whenever I see idiom, now what things come in your mind? We can easily say in Nepali, "ukhan tuka." That is the idiom. So same like in English also, yeah. Idioms. Okay, once uh, okay, Prasanna, once read this slide. Group of the word that have different different meaning from the cultural word. It is from a, the ex, from the actual words. Come. It is, phrase, yes. it is a phrase on expression that that uh, typically typically past parents presents presents figurative figurative meaning but but not uh, literal literal meaning at all. Okay, at first year idioms is a group of words that have different meaning from the actual words. Marika. What does it mean by a group of words that have different meaning from the actual words? Is there any Mem- idea about this one? Mem- uh, the group which have uh, different meaning but the same word. Okay, yeah, you can say that idioms is a group of words. That means, for example, uh, you can say idioms: a piece of cake. This is an idiom. Yes, break the ice. This is the idiom. Cup of tea. This is the idiom. So. Now, if you say cup of tea, yes. Now, what does it mean? Cup, a single cup of tea, yes. That means a group of words means a cup of tea. There are three words that have different meaning from the actual word. That means if you uh, say a cup of tea means what do you understand now? Raj, mm-hmm. what do you mean by a cup of tea? If you say a cup of tea now, what do you mean this one? One cup of tea, yes. But whenever you use it as idiom, then it has got the different meaning. Not of cup one, not of tea one. There is there is a different meaning. Cup of tea means this is not my cup of tea. Means this is not my interest. Not your interest. Cup of tea means your interest. Okay, I'll give a next is a is a phrase or expression that typically presents figurative meaning but not literal meaning attached to the phrase. Now at first, the yeah, difficult word is figurative meaning. What does it mean? Figurative meaning means figurative meaning means you can say that imaginative meanings that they have different meaning. You can say uh, um, that is not a basic meaning. This has got something different. And literal meaning the direct meaning. Just now we told cup of tea means a single cup of tea. This is a direct meaning. Okay. For example, I give you uh, for easiness. I give example here. Okay. For example here. Break the ice. Now, literal meaning is here. Break the ice means what? Taking, uh, make taking one ice cube and breaking, heat, heating and breaking. 
this is the literal meaning are getting me or not this one literal meaning now figurative meaning means to do or say something that makes people feel more comfortable in a social situation that means uh, break the ice means if you say directly exact meaning then you get you, so so easy just you take a ice and you break this is a literal meaning or you can say the exact direct meaning of that phrase but if you use it as idioms it has got something different rather than that meaning it means that break the ice means suppose you are around a new people and you don't know how to speak you feel nervous you feel shy on that situation you have to do something you have to say something or you can sing a song you can tell a joke you can play a games just to feel comfortable around the unknown people so this is the break the ice you can give example like this uh, to break the to break the ice in my first class i play one game there that means what in your first class you feel nervous so you just play one game and people all uh, students become friendly with you that is the break the ice so any confusion here once i was podel i was podel yes ma'am it any confusion this one literal meaning and figurative meaning oh ma'am no okay smarika it any different uh, different call you have for literal meaning and figurative meaning no ma'am tell me about uh, okay simple one then okay what do you understand literal meaning then uh, ma'am we said the same uh, meaning like the you know, uh, idiom Okay, literal meaning means direct meaning according to word what you say. Suppose your example given a break the ice. Now break means what? To, uh, yes, to, to break into, something. Yes. Break into pieces. Yes, break exactly. Break into pieces. Now break the ice means if you say one one word break break into pieces. Ice means one taking ice cube. That means what? Taking ice cube, you break it. This is the literal mean direct meaning. Then the figurative meaning that means. Idiom is the figurative meaning, not a direct meaning, not the actual meaning. That one, understood? So simple yes, an example is you can say um, a piece of cake. Uh, okay, sab this, sab this. Yes, ma'am. Okay, piece of cake. If I say piece of cake, what do you mean by this literal meaning of piece of cake? Again, um, means literal, literal meaning of piece of cake. The cake has literal many meaning. pieces. Yes, good. Piece of cake, a, a single piece of cake. Literal meaning. Now, if you say it is used as a uh, idioms, it have got figurative meaning. Now, what the figurative meaning then? Any idea easy about piece of cake? Do. Wow, easy so to nice. do. Easy to do. Yes, good. Easy to do. So now you got this one. Yes, literal meaning means whatever the words are used here in that idiom, we don't need to care about that meaning. But in a whole, what is trying to say? You have to this one. You have to define that one. Getting me or not? So this is about the idioms. So you can use here idioms. An idiom is the particular style or manner of expression used by a person or group. That means mostly the in different language there are different type of idiom, different type of phrases you have to use. So according to uh, people belong to that culture, that language they use such type of. idioms and if we use the idioms then our conversation becomes very uh, interesting not is it not be so you can say uh, that is not my cup of tea that means you what you say that is not my interest you can say do it likewise you can use the language there then next year it has hidden meaning for sure just now i gave example they break the ice means breaking not breaking the ice but it has something different meaning which you have to find out there the next is it helps to describe an exact situation in a different and creative way this means what now okay once dikcha explain this sentence okay once okay once explain that last one point one story and explain it helps us to describe an exact situation in a different and creative way okay what do you mean by this one it means that uh, we can describe the situation uh, in our uh, creative uh, with help our with the power creative mind yes so you can use idioms in a creative way and so you can use it in a creative way this is the idiom it helps to make uh, your conversation interesting if you use a type of idioms in your in your everyday language then it uh, becomes 
the, the conversation will not be boring and next thing is that if you use the converse uh, idioms then it will uh, enrich your language it uh, makes your language your vocabulary very rich you will be you know how to use such type of idioms in a sentence honest this one okay once uh pros to me yes what do you mean by okay what do you mean by uh, idioms what do you understand this one what do you understand by all these things say something about this one uh, the group of words we which describes different meaning but are have the same uh, have the same spelling is called idioms mm the next for example piece of cake piece of cake yes okay next year shreya what do you understand by idiom the words that have different meaning from the uh, actual words yes from the actual word it has got a something different hidden meaning there which we have to find out so a simple one example here you can say piece of cake and then after break the ice then after you can say okay uh, so each one you can say okay split, split the beans that means such type of idioms if you use then you you will be more creative you can you uh, you your language will be rich your mind or you are using style is very different so i have got some uh, one video here about idioms once check this one i'll keep in your google classroom idioms at grammar songs by melissa what is an idiom more importantly how can understanding idioms make me a better reader speaker listener or writer let's get started An idiom is an expression that cannot be understood from the meaning of its separate words, but must be learned as a whole expression. What? Huh? Okay, I know that sounds confusing, so let me explain. Idioms are a form of figurative language, which means the words cannot be taken literally or exactly. Literally? Exactly? Let me show you an example. You may have heard someone use the idiom it's raining cats and dogs. In a literal or exact sense, this expression would look something like this. It's raining cats and dogs. But the meaning of an idiom is figurative. The words and meaning don't exactly go together. It's raining cats and dogs really means it's raining very hard. People use idioms every day when speaking English without even realizing they are doing so. These groceries cost an arm and a leg. This can be really tricky for people learning to speak English. An arm and a leg? Hmm. Maybe I should shop somewhere else. Authors use idioms to communicate a special and precise message to the reader. Famous authors like William Shakespeare used and even created many idioms that we still use today. In fact, It is estimated that there are at least 25,000 idioms used in the English language today. Oh no! Yikes! How will we ever learn them all? Relax. I don't think any one person actually knows all of them. The important thing is to understand that the words used in an idiom are not literal. They mean something else. Practice your understanding of idioms in real life when you read, "You are the apple of my eye." watch TV I'm glad you didn't get cold feet and especially when you listen and speak to others at home and other places this game is coming down to the wire may we practice now sure can you make it rain cats and dogs again that was fun not this time but i've got some other ideas let's explore the meanings of some of the more common idioms you may encounter on a daily basis This cupcake is out of this world. So a literal interpretation of these words would cause you to believe that a cupcake is floating around in outer space. Hey, come back here. But of course, idioms are a form of figurative language. This cupcake is out of this world really means this cupcake is delicious. Yum. That was silly. Let's practice again. Okay, let's practice again. I am going to toss my cookies. A literal inter- understanding of these words would make you believe that someone is going to throw cookies up in the air. Woohoo! What 
what's going on in here? I just baked those! But idioms aren't literal, they are figurative. I am going to toss my cookies really means I am going to be sick or I'm going to throw up. We hope he feels better! <laughs> Thanks, so do I. Next we have, you're driving me up the wall. A literal interpretation would look something like this. Help! Let me out! But an idiom isn't literal, it is figurative. You're driving me up the wall really means you are irritating me. So remember, idioms are a form of figurative language. The words and the expression have a different meaning when put together. The best way to learn idioms is to practice them in real life when you read and listen, and to use them when you speak and write. That was a piece of cake! A ho now! I'm glad it was easy for you. You are doing a great job using idioms. Thank you for joining me at Grammar Songs by Melissa. Enjoy other videos about related topics at GrammarSongs.com. Hello everyone, your video complete. Smarika, video complete or not? Yes, ma'am. Complete? Yes, ma'am. Osin? Osin? Yes, ma'am. Okay, do you watch the video? Yes, ma'am. Okay, what do you understand from that video? Idioms. Idioms are the group of the word uh, which, which have different meaning. Examples. Yeah. Examples like? Break the ice. Mm, break the ice. Break the ice. Mm. Over the moon. Mm, over the moon. Okay, etc. Okay. So, idioms is, is the Yes, the phrase, the group of word or phrase which has got a different meaning rather than its actual meaning. Just now, give example of break the ice means if you say directly break the ice, then it has got something meaning. That means to break the ice into different pieces. But if you say it used as a uh, idiom, then it has got something different meaning. So. Uh, at first, now what are the importance of idiom then? Just now we talk about what is idiom, examples we talk here. So here, importance of idioms. That means at first it helps to say many things with just a few words. That means what you are trying to say, if you, you uh, say it by through the idiom, then you can easily say that one without uh, with using a few words. Then just now I told that it will enrich our language. That means you become very rich in the vocabulary. You can use different type of words, idioms, so that your interest, your talk, your conversation will be less boring and more funny. People like to talk with you because uh, of that idioms you use in the language. The next one is given here, broadens people's understanding of language. That means if you uh, study a lot about the idioms, then obviously it helps to widen your knowledge your language and next thing it it has to be more confident that means idioms is used by mostly the used by the native speakers yes we have got our own idioms in nepali language and different idioms in english there are different idioms so you use the idiom the it makes that you'll be more confident and you will speak like a native speaker now what do you mean native speaker then what do you mean native speaker who will say the native speaker? What do you mean by native uh, speaker? Raj, what do you mean by native speaker? Any idea about that one? Native speaker no, means uh, native speaker means the person. Suppose you are a native speaker of which one? Which language? Nepali. Yes, we mostly speak. We born. We are Nepali, so we are a native speaker of the Nepali. So if you use a type of uh, idioms in the language, then that means you can easily speak the language you can make your language more interesting people like to talk with you this is the thing this is the importance of the idioms so any problem with idioms no ma'am okay, no, ma any if any problem you can ask to me our time is almost going to over and i will no, give you assignment after after some time then you can do the assignment and whenever you do the assignment, please write your name. Sometimes I didn't get your name, so I don't know whose assignment is that one. 